वो बनने की कोशिश मत कीजिए जो आप नहीं हैं इसलिए कि आप सोचते हैं कि उससे इंटरव्यू बोर्ड बड़ा प्रभावित हो जाएगा बी नेचुरल लुक योर जेनुन सेल दॉबीज शुड नेवर बी वेक द ड्रिल दैट वंस यू एंटर द रूम यू हैव टू गुड आफ्टरनून यंग लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई वेलकम यू टू दिस ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर फर्स्ट स्टेप टूवर्ड्स proving your final worth in the by way of the interview and getting into the services and i look forward to a lot of you painting your own success stories and uh, taking a great step into service of the nation as we know being well how should i say the creme de la creme of the bureaucracy and the higher civil services the presumption being here of course that you have uh, cleared the mains exam and the results have come here and only those who have qualified for it this year have to take this particular module of working for the most difficult part which is as you will shortly see the first impression of any human being is the best impression and you don't get a second chance to make a good first impression therefore the 30 minute 35 minute interview however effortless it may seem you have to work for it very sincerely and yet the hard work should show through in the most natural and easy manner in which you conduct yourself in the before the interview board it should not come across as an artificial labored or far to studied no exaggerated uh, uh, actions no flowery words it should appear so natural flowing like a stream that one should be impressed with your genuineness well young ladies and gentlemen i welcome you to this very small presentation which is essentially for raising a few very commonly uh, understood or mistaken impressions about the interview purpose the interview process let me before i am re i am required to speak to you about uh, how to fill up the daf uh, the detailed uh, form which you will now be filling up and uh, uploading for the uh, for making your uh, candidature known to the interview board let me begin by saying that on an average an interview by itself and i really hope a lot of you make it through to that process and come out with flying colors it's a 30 minute process 27 to 32 depending on how you are able to bind the uh, five members of the board uh, into your into your expressions and into your um, uh, your discussion ability to discuss and analyze in this 30 minute on an average Uh, time period there will be 6 minutes or so per member on an average right and the chairman naturally is the chairperson he is uh, he or she will will uh, have the primacy of interrupting correcting taking the lead that apart before i go on to daf let me express what i have uh, seen over the past few years of uh, of uh, being able to interact with a lot of you youngsters and what my primary uh, impressions are firstly your photos and signatures have been uploaded so everybody knows what you look like and some of you who can some of us who can read calligraphy or signatures or whatever we we make a an assessment of what you are but most importantly how you enter your body language your kinesics your hand gesturing the way you are able to stress a word your intonation how comfortable you are with your words uh also the depth of your arguments is one thing the genuineness of your arguments is something very very important trust me it's a very small thing you must always carry in your mind it's a, it's a rule do not be fake 
वही रहिए जो आप हैं थोड़ा बहुत अपने ऊपर आप पॉलिश कर सकते हैं मुलम्मा चढ़ा सकते हैं लेकिन वो बनने की कोशिश मत कीजिए जो आप नहीं हैं इसलिए कि आप सोचते हैं कि उससे इंटरव्यू बोर्ड बड़ा प्रभावित हो जाएगा वो लोग 40-50 साल की आ, का अनुभव रखते हैं सिविल स, आ, सिविल सोसाइटी में सीनियर अध्यापक हैं ब्यूरोट्स हैं पुलिसमैन हैं आई के ऑफिसर्स भी होंगे जो भी है जिस भी स्ट्रीम से आते हैं इतने बड़े भयंकर प्रोफेशनल्स होते हैं कि उनके लिए आपके किसी चीज़ को पकड़ना जो कि स्वाभाविक नहीं है एनी थिंग विच इज़ फेक विल बी कॉट आउट एंड दैट इज समथिंग विच इज़ जस्ट नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल द सर्विस रिक्वायर्स जेनुन एंड एब्सोल्यूटली सिंसियर पीपल हु आर हु आर वॉट दे से दे आर राइट सो लेट मी डिवोट अ फ्यू मिनट्स टू द बेयर बेसिक there are lots of people who for some reason dress in black and black and black and you know they how should i put it you are not appearing before a sessions judge and you are not going to a funeral so on a on a nice morning on your interview at 12 o'clock why should you be wearing black black and you know of all all sorts of whoever told you that you should you should wear only dark colors and very uh um, very dull colors you should not be able to uh, at the age of 24 25 27 why should you dress up like you are you are um, celebrating some very sad event i mean uh, sort of observing some very sad event that's not on be natural look your genuine self do not dress up very flashily before the interview the first thing i'll start by saying is that you should be very well kept before you appear before the interview board go to the washroom you should appear presentable not because we don't like if you are looking like somebody who can go to a desk and have a very good impression here what impresses the board is that you are taking the upsc interview seriously as a person who is about to make the destinies and help the nation frame the destiny of its future citizens through your seriousness right it is not some frivolous presence it is also not extremely morose or some some um, how should i say saturn in dress sense which you should go for wear naturally wear what is comfortable with you very tight clothes or i mean if you have outgrown your clothes then please invest in some nice uh, some uh, small new uh, set of clothes but wearing a suit is not compulsory let me just tell you this wearing a tie is not compulsory wearing very formal clothes is not compulsory what is compulsory for those who will be appearing in the fag and say in may you go wearing a black coat you, one one will not appear natural so be natural a simple shirt and a tie it should of course not be a uh, crinkly it should not be greasy just make sure that you are you are dressed properly for the occasion you should wear properly well shining shoes no short socks please no very colorful socks please or very colorful pants just wear as if you are taking the event seriously that is the important po- point i am not a fashion czar i just want you to understand that this is a serious event and you should present that seriousness when you appear before the the other thing is your hand your 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 gestures when you come in and you exit the moment you come in wishing five people good morning sir good morning ma'am good morning sir good morning ma'am is not done not required invariably you should simply address the chair say good morning ma'am and then turn around say good morning sirs or vice versa whatever important thing if there is a lady present on your left even if the chairman is a gentleman well old world traditions require you wish the lady first even if she is a junior good morning ma'am and sirs or good morning madams and sirs that's how you you address and just wait for a second before you ask to sit down the second very commonly repeated mistake is the drill that once you enter the room you have to it it should be the first button should be shut while you are sitting down you open the button and then when you are exiting you again shut the button and walk out please it is a, some of my 
colleagues who often take these interviews in the they uh, in the upsc they also keep amusingly and almost uh, almost out of sarcasm they say aa gaye ye log training leke kisi na kisi academy se you know this is the wrong it's not required it's fake it's not genuine heavens will not fall if you are just sitting with your uh, with your uh, first button um, lose i mean a big deal you can open it whenever you feel like it you can shut it whenever you feel like it don't appear fake right the third important thing is quite a few candidates sit as if they have been frozen on or or tied around the chair the hands are clasped on their knees and bechare agar gesticulation karna bhi chahte hain kisi point ko emphasize karne ke liye to aise ghutnon pe haath rakhe yun yun karte rehte hain please it is so fake use your hands effectively whoever tells you you should clasp your hands and freeze them is wrong i am from the civil services retired and there are any number of officers who have we all talk please be natural sit down don't slouch sit up straight but not like a not like a dummy you are a human being behave not like a mannequin if you are told to relax well it means you already tense you just be relaxed you can you if you are if you are putting your hands in your lap or you are you are using it on this very loosely on the on the arm uh, arm rest perfectly all right to as i am doing you can use your hand gesticulation don't dance with it but you can use your hands effectively to stress a point or to indicate a gesture right this kinesics the fact that your eyes your mind your voice and your hands are speaking in think the exact same language with the exact same emotion that is going to impress the interviewer board, board a lot now further these homilies i'll be coming to when we actually appear for the uh, for the interview sessions and so on right now my emphasis shifts to filling up your daf See the detailed application form two is uh, what you will be engaged in filing, filling up and uploading. Uh, there are three broad categories into which I would like to stress this. The first is your well, the first page, the first few couple of pages in which you enter your personal information, your name, your parents' name, your their address. योर ई मेल एड्रेस वगैरह 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 उसमें कई चीज़ें आती हैं आपका योर स्कूल वेर यू पास आउट ऑफ योर एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन एक्सेट्रा नेचुरली दे आर फैक्चुअल आई मीन आई डोंट यू डोंट नीड मी टू टेल यू दैट नथिंग ऑफ इट शुड बी ए रॉन्ग बी मिस स्पेल्ट सी इनकम्प्लीट इफ यू डू दैट यू आर ऑलरेडी नॉट टेकिंग सीरियसली द यू पी एस सी एग्जाम और इट्स इन राइट तो very precisely go through uh, the letter head of your university or or your college all the details must be abs- must be absolutely accurate do not misspell psychology or philosophy or anthropology or something just be very very correct spell check if need be spell check and cross verify the names of your school college etc subject etc 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 one more thing and i i uh, it is not about a feminism it's just about giving due respect to your mother and your sisters etc please do not call housewife a homemaker is the correct way of addressing and honoring your mothers and your sisters right i would like you to wherever required do not enter housewife but as homemaker so she is the person who puts your entire home together right so whenever in case your mother is unemployed in that sense of the world a uh, word uh, she is much more uh, doing much more which is not uh, included in the gdp but building a home is much more important please write homemaker now coming to the second part which is your subject column often you know you are seen to be typically uh can we come to that part where no 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 the subjects column yeah you see 
Hindi, English, Mathematics, Science, Social. Please, what is your specialization? I am, I am, for example, sitting as the, as a member of the uh, of the interview board. I will my attention span. I'm I'm required to ask you four or five questions within a five six minute period. So if I have to scan this and I have to see Hindi, English, math, ha, ye to hai, ye to hai, ye to hai, then I'll come to all right, social sciences or something. Please write your essential subject first. Hindi and English languages you can write at the bottom because everybody is is uh, is required to be doing that or your mother tongue whatever, right? So your subjects should come first and your languages or the optional subjects or the uh, I won't like to say less important, but what is common to everybody, you come to you come to that at the end. Okay. So from my point of view, if you are the second column has been properly filled, mathematics, English, English should come at the bottom. Mathematics, physics, chemistry, English, physical education. Right? That is really how I would like you to you to address it. So even this order is important. Thirdly, uh, although in B.Tech or something, do not go into too many details about writing all the subjects. Once I know you are B.Tech from an IIT, engineering, mechanical or electrical or, or electronic, etc. That's good enough. That's good enough for me or the UPSC board. Uh, what I intend to say is to frame the questions according to this. Right? We don't need to know all the subjects you have studied, all the small little semesters you have done. No, it is supposed to be a brief and precise document. Uh, of course, uh, things about these are things which you have to be very accurate. And in case something, for example, you say that I am from a certain class and then you write that I, my father owns so much land. If somebody is owning 200 acres and then you are saying I am from such, such and such depressed class or something, you should be able to debate about how I am from that class and my father is owning so much land, right? So these are things which you should be, you should be clear about. At the time of uh, building up for the interview, we will we'll, uh, discuss a little further about it. Now I come to the, this kind of a thing. You see, the hobbies should never be vague. Uh, you must understand that you are again filling up this particular form to appear in the interview board of the UPSC. You are not loading up your profile on Tinder or Facebook or something. Right? So do not be frivolous about it. Writing, I like to walk by the beach and watch the waves. I'm sorry. That is not serious. It may be for your growth as a poet, but here you are addressing the interview board. I am, I am having 30 seconds to see this. Actually, I would like to see 10 seconds to see this. Focus on 4-5 points so that I can ask you questions. Now, if you are going to fill up with so much of vague information, it is going to be harmful to you during the interview process. You see, as interview board ke member ke saamne, jab 5 minute pehle sab kuch rakha jata hai, aapka written ka us mein aapne kitna badhiya kiya hai, wo nahi aata hai. Aapka CV, ye, ye jo DAF hai, ye rakha jayega, aur aaj ka newspaper hoga. Wo uske baare mein baad mein aayenge. Aapko kis kis cheez ki tayari karni hai. Lekin aapka DAF ek bahut mehatwapun document hota hai. Us mein agar aap garbage bhar denge, अपनी तरफ से गार्बेज भर देंगे तो इंटरव्यू बोर्ड भी यही समझेगा कि आपको साहब सीरियसनेस नहीं है एंड देयरफॉर दे विल जज यू अकॉर्डिंगली एंड आउट ऑफ शेयर वेल टेकिंग एज आई मे कॉल इट टेकिंग पंगा विद यू दे विल पिक अप ऑल राइट व्हाट इज माइंडफुल मेडिटेशन हाउ मेनी काइंड्स ऑफ माइंडफुल मेडिटेशन एंड देन यू आर लीडिंग योरसेल्फ यू हैव ट्रैप्ड योरसेल्फ यू आर गोइंग टू आंसर एंड आंसर on subject matters which you do not know so much about. It is very easy to impress someone for about five minutes, but if the discussion goes on, right? If the discussion goes on, please take it from all of us 
that the interview board members know much more about it than you possibly can. In fact, they will be in their 60s and 70s. They will have forgotten more about mindful meditation, the meditation than you will ever learn. So please do not fill up vague stuff. Be precise. What all you have? Uh, extracurricular activities. Now, well, I don't want to judge anybody. Watching documentaries on big cats. Why, if a small cat will come, you'll switch off the TV. What is this? You say that fine. What watching wildlife documentaries? Good enough. Okay. Then you say when you are asked again, sir, I don't like to see snakes. I like to watch the big cats. Good enough. But when you are entering here, please do not be so precise and please do not be so vague. Right? Be genuine. This is not genuine. I'm sorry. I don't call it genuine. Playing volleyball. Yes, I can understand. After that, general interest in affairs of national global importance. That's not an extracurricular activity. That is a must for any candidate. That's a must for any every citizen today. Right? So, if you don't have any other extracurricular activity, just leave it blank. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Right? What doing Sudoku? I've seen so many times doing Sudoku, Kakuru, all this. That's not really an extra. It's a five-minute thing which you do with your morning tea. So that's not really an extracurricular activity. Playing musical instruments is singing is dancing is if you are if you are genuinely going for it, right? That is one part which I would like to stress upon. Be very very careful when you are filling up these forms. In fact, I would like you if you can. Uh, take some of your peer group talk to some other seniors who are already in service or something as to what all to put and what not to put it's uh, nothing to be ashamed of if you do not have a serious extracurricular activity you may have 20 hobbies but no serious extracurricular activity. good enough right playing games good enough uh, uh, fitness is good enough you don't have to say raising dumbbells or doing push ups fitness is good enough Right? That's, I hope the point has gone across. The other part is positions of distinction, distinction and leadership held in school and college. Please understand what it really means. With due regards to this gentleman who filled it. Uh, in college or in school, being school monitor or so on, fair enough, achhi baat hai. Us vakt ke liye achhi baat hai. Lekin UPSC tak aate aate, ye bahut saare इतने लाखों लाख बच्चे अपीयर होते हैं कि उनमें से कम से कम एक तिहाई ये ये इस किस्म के उप, की उपलब्धियां पा चुके होते हैं इट इज नॉट अ ग्रेट डील दैट यूर क्लास मॉनिटर इन क्लास टेंथ ओके सो यू कैन अनसरली प्ले डाउन यू कैन सिंपली से दैट आई वाज वन ऑफ द आई वाज वन ऑफ द मोर रिस्पॉन्सिबल मोर वट स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास एम गुड इनफ यू डोंट इवन हैव टू राइट दैट वट दे आर लुकिंग फॉर रियल इज वर यू प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द a certain uh, music society or what house society or whatever dramatic society if were you part of the were you the general secretary of the mathematics club of the college or at the university level if so great mention it that is an achievement but don't fill up the paper by saying all right cultural fest yes but being joint secretary of a cultural fest theek hai due regards it's part of your growth but don't make it a sort of a flag that you know so i'm i'm sure you have understood what i'm trying to say here in this what they are looking for whether you are part of the science uh, scholarship or uh, some some uh, very distinctive achievement in college and uh, now scored 99.4 percentile in such and such exam i'm sure this this person is brilliant but that is not going to count at all before the interview board on the basis of this 99.4 percentile the person got into iit right ab wo achievement usko chhod dijiye ab iit mein kya kiya uske level pe uske basis pe aap yahan aaiye lekin iit ke toppers kabhi kabhi is civil services uh, exams ko clear nahi kar pate hain the requirements are very different so if you are here if you are taking this exam forget about how many marks you scored it is not a chip on your shoulder anymore right what is required here is something else so 
I'm sure you are intelligent enough. Some things are important. Some other things not be written. That is the uh, uh, that is the uh, short point. For only one reason, let me come back to it. In the fifteen to twenty seconds that I have on the interview board, I want to be able to see exactly which questions to ask. It is not important for me. अपने नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर लाए हैं नाइन्टी एट पॉइंट टू लाए हैं नाइन्टी वन पॉइंट फोर लाए हैं ये गया गोल्ड मेडल शॉर्ट पुट ओके आई विल आस्क अबाउट शॉर्ट पुट ओके वेस्ट वॉली आई विल आस्क सम क्वेश्चन अबाउट वॉलीबॉल दिस इज हाउ द इंटरव्यू बोर्ड माइंड वर्क वॉट की वर्ड्स टू टेक ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच वी कैन आस्क फर्दर क्वेश्चन अब आपने वॉलीबॉल खेला है उस पर पूछेंगे शॉर्ट पुट किया है तो उस पर पूछेंगे कुछ नहीं खेला है और आप सिर्फ कहते हैं फिटनेस तो मैं फिटनेस पे भी पूछूंगा सो हाउ डज इट मैटर कि आपने शॉर्ट पुट में गोल्ड जीता है या फिटनेस में आपने कुछ भी नहीं जीता है लेकिन आप अपने आप को फिट रखते हैं राइट द क्वेश्चन आर इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इनपुट इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट वंस यू अंडरस्टूड दैट यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली लर्न वॉट टू राइट एंड वॉट नॉट टू राइट ओके नाउ on the work experience some of you have worked earlier in fact most of you will have worked by the time the process comes through please write very precisely what you are doing the the purpose is not that the interview board is going to be impressed by whether you are already of a certain level you are earning a certain thing a certain salary they will be more interested in being able to frame one or two questions about it if you have worked in uh, a startup we will ask you about startups about drones about what all what all is uh, happening in the in your field you are expected for example if you have uh, had a startup in the field of uh, pharmaceutical business right or supply of some uh, some Uh, drugs uh, drugs chain medicinal uh, drugs chain logistics if you are working in that that is important which firm you work with whether you are with uh, some international mnc this that not important right so it is it is how you have to not express yourself but you have to put certain information in your daf i am repeating this please understand आप वो इंफॉर्मेशन दे रहे हैं अपने डैफ में जिसमें आप वो शब्द डाल रहे हैं जिन शब्दों के ऊपर आपका इंटरव्यू बोर्ड आपसे आगे के सवाल पूछेगा तो इन फैक्ट इफ यू आर स्मार्ट एंड क्लेवर इनफ यू कैन पुट दोज वर्ड्स विद विच योर फैमिलियरिटी इज मोर देन एवरेज विच फील्ड विच वर्क विच medals scholarship etc so that you can lead the interview board into that familiar territory and then you can be comfortable talking about i wanted to put this right at the end and i have um, hardly anything else to add except that when you are um, in this part of framing the uh, putting the your personal information about this now we come to the very tricky part of opting for services we all know about the three or four or five more uh, how should i say not prestigious but more preferred services ias ifs ips wagaira 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 uske baad yahan tak to theek hai uske baad the knowledge and, and familiarity keeps on dwindling and you almost know uh, nothing about some of the services let me put it to you very gently either you are made for the uniform you have the aptitude or you do not one of my own batch mates who scored very high marks opted for the ips right he had an aptitude for it he is one of one of he was uh, as in he is retired now he was one of the most decorated officers right my another batch mate ended up as the foreign secretary he is just uh, retired then he became the g20 sherpa arshangla uh, uh, and dr arshangla and then he had always the aptitude the point which i want you to understand is that, that there is an aptitude attached with these 
either you have the aptitude for the foreign service or you do not either you have the aptitude for ips or you do not either you are fit to be in the uniform whether it's ips or tanips or customs or railway protection force right that is one part the second is finance related jobs audits and accounts irs civil account service and irs um, that um, income tax central excise customs mein to thoda uniform ka bhi ho gaya but excise and this and its is another very specialized subject so finance is the second one uh indian railway account service also that that's the defense accounts as well or you have technical services ips is also in some ways extremely technical what with what color crime and cyber uh, security cyber crimes etc and then you have um, for example indian uh, railway traffic services again a technical service you have yeah thank you its then you have for example um, you have indian information so indian trade service very technical corporate law service again very technical and so on if you have a knack for technical services with with uh, in which ordinarily specialists are required and they have their own jargon so if you have it in you that you can debate with them on policy level and you can make decisions in the in the uh, for the good of the country please or for that the indian administrative service i am coming to the end because the job is so uh, multi dimensional that you could be doing cyber security side one and law another and tribal welfare third and education and you know it very well you have appeared for it uh, i have simply gone through it so you know what you are asking for so that is a very generalized service now some people have the knack for finance not so much for taking 20 other kinds of fields if you don't be wise to make your choices and most importantly no harm in saying ips is my first choice because i love the uniform i would like to be part of it it's part of my in my part of my mental makeup nobody is going to question you why not ifs why not ias no but you should be able to defend your choice intelligently cogently and sincerely no fakery about it please right if you say i am fit for ifs i think so and two sentences later you are taking a very rigid stance which is very undiplomatic which is very unaccommodating then you may think you, life of a diplomat is all hunky dory but you are already proving yourself to be not of the framework now you will not fit into that mode okay so the choice of the services is very important the choice of danix danips and Pondi pondicherry civil services of course you rise to a certain level within pondicherry and the two three territories uh, small territories around and then you uh, get inducted into the is danix danips the advantage first lots of my friends danix danips they spend their entire lives in delhi for major 20 years 15 15 definitely after which the process of inducting them into the ias or ips begins it ends up being 19 20 years whether you would like to stay in delhi for those 19 20 years is your choice and as we see the choice is becoming more and more difficult with the last few years but anyway after that you can end up people from the danix danips it's not danix danips anymore for your information uh it used to be delhi and one nicobar island civil services and lakshdeep was also there lakshdeep dadar nagar evli and dadar uh, and daman and diu uh, as in the home ministry it was done uh, in my time i mean i was associated with that so it became that now ladakh and jnk are also part of it so you are looking at Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Chandigarh, Delhi, Pondicherry, Damandiu, Dadar Nagar, Lakshadweep, and 
um, and your Andaman Nicobar Islands, if no more union territories are made in future, even if this, you have a huge chance of being shuttled around even as a Danix Danips officer. So that is your call, right? The other services, my suggestion to you is, please read a few paragraphs about each one of them from the India 23 yearbook or whatever you wish to, right? But make an educated and an informed choice when you are filling up this form. What does not look good is before the interview board, first three, four services you have filled very predictably. After that, there is no link. I mean, you could be doing this earlier than this and this and this and this. So there is no pattern between your choice six and your choice 15 or choice 12. And if there's, there is not a pattern, then a couple of questions can certainly be asked. That are you interested in the uh, audits and accounts related, finance related thing, or are you interested in, in the technical aspects of it and so on? So be clear of how you make a pattern of, out of your choices. Just don't focus on the first three, four, five. Focus on all of them, all of the services with a certain pattern emerging, which is what the NTV board is looking to. Uh, can we uh, come to the states uh, as choice? Now, a lot of us would like to uh, stay in their home cadres, failing which the state next to your home, uh, home state, which is all very well. And there is a certain predictability. There is a North Indian thing and South Indian thing and Eastern Indian thing. All very well. What I regret to point out is that time and again, Zone 5, uh, beg your pardon, Zone 4, the Northeast, ends up as the lowest of your choices. It comes as choice number 4, uh, choice number 5, except if you are from the Northeast. In which... This pattern is most, more or less repeated with Nagaland ending, ending up as uh, the last choice. So, 5 oblique 6, 5th and 6. Let me just warn you, out of sheer, uh, I wouldn't say malice, but out of sheer, uh, well, sense of, uh, sense of tickling the person, I have quite often Pointed, pointedly asked questions on Nagaland again and again and again. And it makes me feel very nice when people are able to answer them. You make whatever choice you do, but don't make an uninformed choice. If you tell me that these are the problems in Nagaland, I can accept. But if you are not informed about why Nagaland is, is the, at the bottom of your list because of whatever prejudice you have, let me tell, let me tell you this very clearly. Manipur, Assam Meghale, Assam Meghale, a lot of the top bureaucracy in the last six, seven years is from Assam Meghale cadre, including your IB chief, your present home secretary, your present CVC, etc. Right? Manipur, Tripura, and Manipur and Tripura together, put together, they make for a lot of people in the, in the North Block and South Block. So, uh, I, I beg your pardon, by, uh, North Block and Finance Ministry, the other side of North Block. So do not be prejudiced by just this. Either it's my home state, uh, whatever, Rajasthan and uh, Haryana, or it is the least preferred is that. Besides, people from the Northeast are given an, a higher than usual weightage in the government of India postings. So please be very informed. Please do not be prejudiced about this about any region of, of your own country and uh, I, can only, uh, I can only end with uh, one particular example. My late batchmate, Mr. Rol uh, Burel, a brilliant fellow from Manipur and he got Tamil Nadu Kada. The gentleman and in the academy could not even speak proper Hindi, not even Bengali or not even Assamese actually. You come from his home uh, town towards west. He could not speak Assamese well. He could not speak Hindi. English, of course, he was fluent. And he was posted in Tamil Nadu. He was speaking better Tamil after one year than the rest of his batchmates. So, there you are. Just be very careful while filling up these forms. 
be not prejudiced be informed and be a little more aware that in this country certain things at least before the interview board who who are supposed to know who do know more often than not a lot more than what your uh, entire domain of uh, knowledge uh, builds up to make a choice right this is all i have to say i really wish you all luck this filling up of uh, your daf form is extremely important as i said go through this last few points that i made इनको बहुत ही ज़्यादा तसल्ली बख्श तरीके से आप इन्हें लिखें और चाहे एक प्रिंट आउट लेके पहले ड्राफ्ट आप इसको बनाइए चार पांच लोगों को दिखाइए उसके बाद उसे फाइनल करके अपलोड बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट यू ऑल थैंक यू